Ezra are heading out to the shops to get some fun things to do with the kids today um, because Lee is off to hang out with his nan who doesn't like live around here. She's just visiting until Wednesday. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So let me explain because I don't think I did properly yet. Yeah, yeah. A few years ago when Xander was like a couple months old, um, Ellie was on her summer holidays from nursery. Let's get out of this, this noise. <laughs> so yeah, Ellie was on her summer holidays from nursery and um, she needed a lot of stimulation because she was a smart cookie. Oh, these are pretty. Um, so... I decided that for every week of the summer holiday we would do a different theme and do like arts and crafts and activities days out based around that theme so I'm doing that again hopefully more successfully this time because I think we only got two or three weeks of it last time um, and we are on week three now so we'll probably only get the same again but um, yeah, so my current ideas for themes are like under the sea beachy holiday, which is what we did the first week of that as well. Um, princes and princesses, which is going to coincide with Ellie's birthday party and possibly woodland themed. And then we can go to like the little woody area um, and if I can do what I want to do, um, have some little cardboard cutouts of like woodland creatures and get the kids to like hunt for them and find them I think that would be such a cool idea and like the kids would enjoy it so much especially Ellie she loves that kind of thing and I think Xander as long as he could find them would really enjoy it because he likes being set tasks you know and um getting things so yeah that's that's my plan for three weeks if there's another week on top of that then we'll do the other week I'll think of another idea for that I'm sure uh but yeah I'm currently looking for like arts and crafts supplies and activities and stuff that are like ocean themed but it's going to be kind of beachy as well so basically what I want to do for Ezra's birthday so I'm hoping if we do good arts and crafts we can use some decorations for Ezra's birthday save a bit of money on decorations so uh, fingers crossed there um, but I also on on the way walking in I've had like a ton of other video ideas including some of the like activities for these theme weeks and um, one for like doing Ezra's birthday cake for his cake smash because um, he's gonna have a cake smash this year because he did not have a proper one last year you can go and check out his birthday video he did have a cake that was already kind of falling apart <laughs> and um, we let him kind of smash that up in his high chair but it wasn't really a cake smash and we didn't get any good pictures of it um, so yeah, we're gonna do a proper cake smash this year. I'm trying to figure out where, like, if I should do it at the party or if I should have like a separate cake for his birthday party and then just have him do the cake smash with this cake that I wanna make him. Um, he's in a bit of a strop at the moment because he already pushed the button at a moment we were crossing. He wanted to push the button after we got across the road and I wouldn't let him, so uh, he's mad at me. But um, yeah, we're in the range now. I've already been too little and mostly got like a drink and um, some pastries for breakfast. I did get some normal paper and some colored card or paper or something. And I also got this, it's like a plate, a cup, a bowl and a knife and a fork, huh? which is going to be his birthday present, so we're going to wrap it up. This is all I've got so far from here. This is for the cake mix we've got at home. I'm going to make the cakes, uh, cupcakes for the theme week from scratch, I think. And then we've got some green food colouring. I wanted blue, but they didn't have any, so I've got to get that from somewhere else. Yeah, Ezra is still in a bit of a grump. So I am finally on the way home now. Ezra's fast asleep, bless him. He must have been tired. 
Um, he did stay up pretty late last night despite my best efforts. Um, it was a bit of a rough one last night, guys. Uh, but I've got this wrapping paper. Um, I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do with it. <laughs> but I was like, it's too cute. I can't not get it. And I always find a use for it somewhere. Like even if I just put it as like a backdrop for photos. Or I could wrap Ezra's birthday presents in it. Because I'm starting to get a collection of them now. I think I've got about three. Um, and none of them are wrapped. Also, I have more birthday presents for him than I do for Ellie. And her birthday sooner. But I've seen four things I want to get her in the range today and uh, she also wants like more squishies and more like Jojo bows but obviously I'm not paying full price for a Jojo bow it's ridiculous um, but I will get her like the the cheap off-brand ones so yeah I'm just gonna have a few of them a few squishies like maybe three or four if she's lucky um, and some Barbies, I think. And then I think it'll be down to everybody else what they get her. Because uh, that's one thing with now she's at school and like inviting pretty much the whole class is that um, she will get more birthday presents. Obviously, you know, I don't expect everybody to bring birthday presents, but quite often they will. Because, you know, birthday parties, you tend to bring presents too. <laughs> so, I don't like to buy her loads and loads now. Um, she just ends up with so much stuff. Getting presents from friends and family and things. Especially, like, these parents are very generous for her birthday presents. And, like, Christmas presents and stuff. So, so you kids have seen all the stuff I've brought back. Well, most of all the stuff yeah. I've brought back. You're probably wondering, why has Mummy brought back all this stuff? Yeah. It's like the ocean and arts and crafts and things. Well, do you remember a few years ago? You won't remember, Xander. You were a tiny, tiny baby. You might, Ellie. Mummy did theme weeks. Uh-huh. Well, we're going to do that again this summer. And this week is going to be ocean themed. And then next week is a surprise. I'll tell you at the start of next week. I want it to be ocean themed. Why not? I don't like the ocean. Well, it's ocean themed and you're going to have to just deal with it. That's where <laughs> mermaids live. I like that day. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm going to be the mermaid. You're going to be a mermaid? Yeah. Sounds mommy, great. Mummy's gonna be the only mommy on my party. Uh. 
as you can see it's way dark now it's like stormy and cloudy outside and um we have shut the curtains to make it like a cinema for watching bubble guppies and i'm watching uh alex strange love um Ellie's trying to get more magic bubbles. Yeah. We'll put the bubbles away for now so we can play with them again tomorrow. Yeah. Ellie, there's only so much mixture, look. If we use them all today, we won't be able to use them next week. Is there any more tubes? No, I've only got this one tube to see if it worked and then I can buy some more tubes next time I go to the range, okay? Oh no, B&M, I got these from B&M for £1.24 anyone's interested um i'm wondering if i put them in like a little tub i can use a bigger blower because all of the bubbles are coming out tiny but yeah it's worth experimenting i think because it'd be way cooler to catch a big bubble like even if it was just this big rather than like this big <laughs> um but yeah i don't know maybe they have to be that small to be able to be touched without popping Hold on, let me put the ring light on. I got two bubbles on my stick. You caught two bubbles on your stick? Come and show me. I should pop them. Oh no. Are you a poppy popperson? <laughs> so I think I'm going to end this vlog here. But if anything else interesting happens today, I will make sure to vlog it and stick it on. Um, the end of this clip. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you're feeling friendly and subscribe if you haven't already. Um.